In this video, we're going to be talking about connecting your lead generation program with third party uh, connective tools such as Zapier or Pabli. The same process uh, is involved for Make, which used to be Integramat, uh, and actually any program that offers you the ability to create a webhook. So what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to look at generating leads and then using one of these tools like Zapier push those leads into your platform. So you might be running a specific CRM platform, or you might want these leads into uh, another format, um, Facebook, for example, or you might want to push them into a spreadsheet, something like that. So we're able to create these integrations using Zapier. So in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how the webhook uh, feature is set up, and then how to push the leads to that webhook so that you can connect with Zapier or Pabli or any of the others. So let's get started. So we're going to come up to the right hand corner and we're going to go to integrations and our custom uh, CRM integration, which is a very specific integration, may not be the right uh, selection for you. So we're going to come into our custom integrations here right in the middle up the top and we're going to create what we call a web hook. So first of all, I'm going to demonstrate Zapier. So I'm going to give this a name just like that. And now we're looking for a specific URL that this platform will give to us. If I come across to Zapier, we'll see how we can create this webhook URL very easily. So I'm coming across to Zapier right now, and this is the dashboard within Zapier. Within Zapier, I click to create a zap. And from here, what I need to do is start with a trigger. And the trigger in this particular case is a webhook via Zapier. Okay, so we need to create a a webhook with Zapier. So I'm just going to choose that one there. Now, what we want to do is choose to catch the webhook. If anything is, I guess, thrown at the webhook, we want the webhook to catch it. Okay, so we've chosen to catch the hook and we click on continue and we don't need the child. We can just keep on clicking continue. And now what we're given is a specific and unique URL. We can copy that URL just like that and that's exactly what we're going to paste into our lead generation program. So coming back to our lead generation program, and now I can paste that into here, just like that. Now I can click on save, but we're not done yet. So over in Zapier, you will have noticed that it's showing that we're listening. We're listening on that webhook to see if we can get the data that we're about to send. So we need to send some data so that we can show the webhook what's coming in and then we can use that to map it into our program. So let's see how we do that. Now we have the Zapier, the demo Zapier connection added here into our uh, lead generation platform. And, and now we want to push some data down to that uh, connection to make sure it's testing correctly. Over on the right hand side, you'll see here that you actually have the ability to test that API. So there's that uh, test that connection, which is that API button there. So you can literally click on test API and it's going to give you some sample data that we can then send so that Zapier can connect or catch that data and then we can map it into our own program. So I can click on send API request and that's been sent over in Zapier we can now say test and we can see if that data has been caught by the webhook and success. We found that record. So now this webhook is catching the data that's being sent from our lead generation program and using Zapier, you will then map that across to the to the application you're using. So there are plenty of tutorials about mapping uh, or connecting different applications using Zapier. I won't go into too many details. If you're using Zapier, uh, there's um, a lot of resources that will show you, but you're mapping the company name, the phone number, the website, the information that we're sending across from our uh, lead generation program, you're able to then map into your connected programs with Zapier. So now we have connected up a webhook. You can now use that data to push into any number of connected applications on Zapier. I think there's over 5,000 different applications there. So everything from a Google Sheet all the way through to multiple CRMs and different programs. So taking the leads out of our system into those connected applications, let's look at how we can now push that over to the system uh, from within our leads program. So now we know that our API is ready to take that data across out of our lead generation program into Zapier and then in, into any connected program. So let's now see how this works for real. We're going to create a new campaign and let's say that this is an industry campaign and I'm looking for building companies uh, in Chicago. Let's just say that. 
Okay, so I cl click to create. Now I want to use that specific Zapier connection that I just built to push this information into the Building in Chicago campaign. So what I need to do is come into my settings of that specific campaign and turn off any other uh, integrations and turn on my demo Zapier connection that I created before. So I'm gonna turn that on. Now, when we push leads out of our, our lead generation program, it's going to hit our Zapier tool and it's going to populate into our uh, Google Doc. So let's do our search. We come to our campaign, we click to do a new search and we're looking for a building company or construction company and we're looking in Chicago. And we run our search. And right now we can see that we've got that data on the screen here. When we click on the actual campaign itself, we'll now start to see those results populating through. And to make this tutorial quick, I can see that I've got 17 emails. So let me just grab the, the ones that have had email addresses found. I'm going to select them just like this. Okay. And I'm going to click on my push to CRM button, which is over in the top right hand corner here. So as I click to push that across to the CRM, what I'm expecting to happen is that all of this information is going to go to Zapier, then it's going to go across to my Google document. So as I click there, we go send to CRM. Okay, and that's now been sent. We can see that's been sent across there right now. And that should have hit into our Zapier uh, system. So we now want to do the same thing in Pably. I'll do this super quickly, but it does run the same process. So we're in our leads program. We want to come up to our integration and again, create another new integration. And this time we're going to call it demo Pably. Pably again is just another program to connect multiple programs together. And in the same way, we need a webhook. So let me create a workflow over here. This is our demo Pably. Create. I want to create my first step again with a webhook, which we can see there. It's going to give us the webhook URL. I'm going to copy it, pop it back into my lead generation process the same way and save. Okay, so now I have a demo Pably connection right here. And again, I can test by sending that data across. So I'm just going to click to test and send that data, send it over just like that. Let's see that we have a success message. Now in Pably, we can see that that's been waiting for that response. And again, here is all of the data and it's ready to go. And in the same way, we can now connect to any other integration, Google Forms or any other program that's connected in Pably. You can see there are hundreds literally of them that you can connect up that data. So in the same way, we can now generate leads. We can create another campaign here and let's call this demo Pably. Okay, so we create the campaign and then we set that the, this campaign in our settings now points to not our CRM, but our demo Pably connection down here. And now again, when we run our search and we use the send to CRM button, which is up in our top right hand corner, you'll be able to then, uh, so we've got it here. We've got our send to CRM. So I select, we go send to CRM, which is the little one with the airplane there. That will now send, if you've connected up your Pably account, to your connected webhook there. And from there, again, you can connect to any program that you also use. So this tutorial to show you that in our integrations, you can connect using a webhook. Now, Zapier and Pably are not the only programs that have webhooks, um, but they are kind of an intermediary connective system. So you know that you can connect up Zapier to 5,000 other replications, probably the same thousands of other replications, but you may have your own webhook from the system that you use. Same process, send across the data and map it into the program that you want to use. So this is the third party integrations using the integrations and webhook system within your lead generation program.